I see. So now I'm learning to just really, really get ahead of the game right now. And I want to make myself some noodles. I make some noodles now. And I eat some noodles with some nice and beautiful, let's say, I eat some noodles with what? I eat some noodles with bolognese sauce. And I want to place also some soup. I want to eat some soup as well. And I want to make soup and noodles together with the getta. And also I can eat my pasta as well. I can eat something different, so I can just shush with my dad sleeping around me. I see, so what's important for me, guys, is delivering content. And as I deliver content, I'm looking to just enjoy myself, yeah? So my dad's awake, so I just, I'm just learning something for myself over here. And... I'm learning, I'm learning how people are just very arrogant. I mean, they're very in denial, people, I promise you. And the people who never trust me, I promise you, they never trust me in what I do for my life. And I just never need those people in my life. I promise you, they never do anything. I promise you, they sit down on a webcam doing nothing. I promise you, I understand that. So, Myself and my life over here, I'm looking to help myself to go. But make sure you never ever go stealing or grabbing somebody's stuff and throwing it away. Because they get money for that. I mean, you know what I'm I understand my dad over here and his knife. I give him 50 bucks and let's move on, yeah? I mean, that's the thing, yeah? I feel I owe him some money. I'm giving some money down. And I'll let it be. Let's see, so I want to make sure I'm learning to help myself to just do greater, regardless of the situation. And I want to make sure I have more enough success today to help myself succeed. So, what I want to do now is I just want to eat noodles. Just the way it is. I want to go and grab myself a nice and beautiful way of life over here. But I'm understanding. I just eat noodles the way it is. And it's more how I feel. I feel, I feel right now I can put in a teapot. I can put my nice and beautiful noodles in a teapot over here. See, so it's one of those pots and I place it in a pot and it can be inside there rocking and rolling and I can make some soup as well and a little bit that way to make sure I'm learning how to grow myself regardless but I'm understanding how I need to grow I need to be ahead of the contents I need to be ahead of the game. I need to be visualizing myself much stronger. So I'm understanding that I'm learning here. I'm learning how there's so much time to do everything. But if something happens where it's strictly, let's say, violence around me, I make sure quickly to somehow run away and to somehow just defend myself really quickly. So what I want to do is just help myself to deliver information, services. And I, I personally never want to worry about anything. I, I want to give people silence. I want to give them silence so that I can deliver content much greater. And I, I realize how much people would never really care about me. But I care about me. I never need them to care about me. I promise you, many people never understand that I'm alive. And they care about giving other guys everything. But never be that way. I'm not the only one, huh? 
I realize although my success is very different in comparison to other people's success. So I feel I'm just learning to grow myself regardless of the situation. And I want to help myself to elaborate better so I can do something better for myself. And that's it. I can say since I actually understand myself much greater, I'm only saying that it's much more how I feel. I feel I need to go and grow myself regardless. So I help myself to have information to deliver. Content is much greater for me. See, so I just had to get away from my dad for a bit because he's trying to sleep over there. So I have a nice and beautiful image over here of myself doing my life over here. And I want to eat something so I can pause the content so that you guys never have to listen to the in between parts. See, so anyway, life is a given, guys. And as my dad has forgiven me so much that I've learned some stuff around him and how much he's forgiven me, especially. So I'm learning, yeah? I'm learning that I have a nice and beautiful life ahead of me. And I can toast my bread too if I want. Which is something new that I can do for myself. Because my dad has a toaster. So as I really grow myself differently, I'm looking for better ways of dealing with my life much greater. And I'm looking to help myself to just elaborate much greater about everything. And that's where I want to understand something. I understand how people are getting successful. And they're getting successful because they're on TV. I mean, they're on TV and that's it. For sure, all the famous people get on TV. And they're actors for some reason. I mean, for some reason they're acting. I mean, they're acting. And they're calling themselves great. And that's it. I mean, that's it. I promise you, all of the actual famous people that you've found are actors. But some are politics. I mean, some are personal development trainers. I mean, you understand? I promise you, it's all different. So, some are soccer players, but they're all on TV. I mean, you understand? I mean, everybody's on TV today. See, Mahatma Gandhi was ready on TV. He was more politics. I mean, you understand? Russian Jesus is more politics and personal development. And that's how I understand Jesus Christ. And you have to understand straight away how you feel. I mean, learn how to appreciate yourself regardless of the situation. And understand that if you want to help yourself to grow, that you look for a better opportunity for yourself to find something that's worth it in life to deliver contents for yourself something nice and beautiful for yourself now we understand straight away how it feels to grow but you have to be compliant with people and be compliant with them so that they can be nice to you because if you're never compliant with them they never want to be nice to you <coughs> And that's the thing about them. Or they're only nice if you're nice. I mean, do you understand? I mean, they're only ever nice when you're nice. So what I want to do is I want to make some soup over here. And put some soup. Put some nice and beautiful vegeta inside. I have some soup for myself as well. So a little bit that way. Making myself over here soup and also just making myself a nice and beautiful way of life of noodles. So that's how it works out for me.
I see, so as I grow myself differently, guys, I'm looking for a better answer. I'm looking for the best answer, guys. So, since I'm actually understanding how the best answer goes, for sure, it is. I understand is my word I and that's it brush it's much more how I feel so I'm just making noodles and I make pasta tonight make some pasta tonight I'll put some agueta in my soup see soup is very easy to make and I can see straight away how to make soup and I just learned how to penetrate myself to do data see so what I'm doing is I'm entering a period of time where my success is becoming more and more throughout time so my success is becoming something much more and that's because I'm doing a greater service in the planet and I'm doing what people want me to do and that's it I promise you if you do what people want you to do then you're going to become successful and that's why I'm much more successful than yesterday because I'm choosing to be much more in my life I promise you if you are never good with people then how do you expect to be famous? I mean do you understand? If you want to do much greater for yourself, you have to be much greater in terms of people. And spe speaking to people is something that you guys have to do for yourself, especially. So that's why I'm understanding straight away how I feel. I mean, how I feel is I'm learning. I'm learning key orchestration. I'm learning key confidence skills. I'm learning how to become the best version of myself. Always. I'm always learning something, yeah? I'm learning something to become the best I can be. I promise you, if you guys can learn that every single day of your life, and if you can learn how to become the best version of yourself every day, I promise you, it's all you have to do in life. Is become the best version of yourself, guys. Honestly, it's all that is very important for you. So just remember that. I mean, just remember you guys have to delete nothing of your life and try adding towards your life. I mean, try being the most important individual in your life. I mean, you understand? I mean, how can you make it happen for yourself? I and mean, learn how to make that happen. I and mean, learn how to make yourself the most, most best individual in your life. Because other people are never going to be there for you. I promise you. Never rely on other people to be there for you. I see my mom can call me now, but tomorrow she may die. I mean, do you understand? I mean, be careful, yeah? I mean, learn the game of art with yourself. I mean, learn why people get popular. I mean, learn how to be popular for yourself. I mean, learn how people interact and what people look for when they look for a millionaire and when they look for a better way of life. I mean, go and learn how to teach people something about life. And if you learn how to teach people something about life, then you'll learn the strategies. I mean, learn the strategies and key techniques, yeah? I mean, that's all you have to learn. It's to be the best. I mean, learn to be the best, guys. And learn to be the best in your life. I mean, that's all you guys have to do. So, every single day I'm learning. I'm learning how to grow up, I'm learning how to be comfortable with myself, 
I'm looking to spark intention for myself, yeah? I'm looking to grab the spotlight again and again and again. I'm understanding how people want to be sober. I'm learning how to do my occupation of therapy every single day with you guys. I'm learning how to make ends meet. And I'm learning how to just understand what that means, which is I'm learning to make a life for myself and that's it. So anyway, so for myself is, Rush, I'm very nice and beautiful now. I'm learning that my life is going a better direction. And I'm learning how to dwell upon having a greater attitude for myself, yeah? I'm learning to coexist with myself differently. See, so anyway, so since I made something to eat now, I made noodles. I'm looking to just elaborate myself into greatness. I'm looking to eat and start my YouTube channel. I'm looking to go on YouTube today. I'm looking to help myself to read something with my mentors. I'm looking to unwind. I'm looking to just relax. I never need cigarettes in my life. I just want to be able to pinpoint some success into me. I'm eating. I'm decorating. I'm learning the best art intention of my life over here. I'm learning what people love and what people never love. But I'm learning business skills. And now my business is growing. And I'm learning in the first year how to do much better business about becoming popular in the next years of my life. I definitely understand straight away Grant Canone and how he does business. But everybody is different. And you guys have to be different upon your life. And you have to enjoy your life, yeah? Russia, if you can enjoy your life differently, you can understand straight away what I mean. I mean, learn how to persuade yourself to do greater. So I'm glad I have a laptop because I invest my money properly and I'm learning how to orchestrate myself now much greater. So what I want to do now is I have to pick up where I left off I have to see exactly what's happening. So, for myself, it's more how I feel. I can see straight away how I feel. My life is the nice and beautiful art zone of everything that's happening. And guess what, bro? You just learn how to appreciate stuff. I mean, learn to appreciate yourself at least. I mean, learn to understand how to control yourself and learn how to dwell upon something that's much greater. So, for myself, I have to go and grow myself differently. So, that's the whole point, yeah? So let's have a look at what's going on. Week 16. See, so for myself over here, I'm understanding that I'm learning how to just grow myself. Class nine. I'm learning to grow myself differently. I'm learning to help myself to deliver information services. And I'm looking to just respond to my greatest way of life. So I can have something specifically nicer every single day to just learning. I'm learning the courage. I'm learning the art form of life. Chance. I'm learning how to persuade myself to have that beautiful therapy about life. And that's it, guys. Honestly, if you have a computer running, then make sure that you're Sponsoring yourself to eat as well and to go and do what you need to do so you can grow yourself.
Because that's how you do a life. I can say, just remember you guys have to lift yourself every single day, learning how people learn about life. When you see him in this way, you are going to... See, so anyway, I'm going to be doing my video now so I can go and do better. See, so anyway, guys, I'm finally at my biological dad's house after quite a while of about seven weeks of hospitalization. And you have to understand straight away, I feel much happier. I'm feeling much greater. I feel a different world now. I feel I have escaped a jail cell. And do you guys understand what a jail cell is in terms of a jail cell? see one of those prison cells I feel I'm doing much greater so what I want to do is I just want to go have a photo with this see so what I found out is the voice memo goes into resume mode as soon as you come out of the tab and go back into the tab so for example if I want to let's say have a photo or do a photo or something then what happens is suddenly I go to my camera roll in my phone and my phone automatically pauses the voice memo and then once I do it <coughs> I mean then once I do the photo I then get to see to go back into my voice memo and then the voice memo starts repeating itself into a resume playback mode so what I mean is I have to talk better so you guys understand me much greater so now you can hear me, yeah? But let's say I go into my voice application in terms of my photo application where I do photos. So if I start doing photos now while talking to you, then you won't hear me at all. But it just pauses the audio program. I mean, the audio program just pauses, yeah? So what I want to do <coughs> is show you guys that once you exit the memo or the voice memo, then your actual application voice memo starts to dissipate in a way that you're just growing yourself, but you're able to explain various tasks and you're able to do something much greater. So what I mean is that if you're recording a voice memo, then be able to record a voice memo and just be able to record a voice memo only and understand that what's important is as soon as you go to take a photo or to have a photo or something then what happens is the voice memo no longer works and then you stop taking photos and then go back into the voice memo and it just resumes your play and it just resumes and it just resumes and your voice memo resumes once you stop taking photos so while you're in the voice memo the voice memo works always but if you have to do a photo then the voice memo stops and if you have to do a video then the voice memo stops but if you're never doing photos and videos 
and you're never in other applications, then the voice memo works. And that's how simple it is. So what I'm doing currently is I'm just driving to Officeworks because I have to get myself some earphones because I'm going to be doing some nice and beautiful music production tonight. <clears throat> and it's time to elevate my career. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to help to explain myself much better. I want to help to explain myself much better. That people are coming on to me now and they want me to work the 9 to 5 job. So what I want to do is just enjoy myself for now and understand what pressure people go through and understand how successful people become in this lifetime. And they become massively successful. And like, I mean, they have tip-top success, but they never have quite Danny Milovoyevich success. For actually, nobody in life has Danny Milovoyevich success. I promise you. I, I, I am successful more than anybody in this lifetime. <coughs> I promise you. And it's, mo it's mainly because of a positive mindset that I have. Actually, nobody's been in my life. I mean, nobody's been living my life for me. I mean, <clears throat> and I'm learning to never argue with people. I'm learning to indulge in something I love to do. So, for me, it's more about being able to follow the rules, but now since I'm understanding that people just want me to work the 9 to 5 job I'm understanding now how to live life much greater <coughs> regardless of the situation I'm at the point of time where my business is skyrocketing and more money in terms of plastic is coming into my life now and that's it I mean you must understand so I'm definitely going to have more than enough success to live my dreams and that's it I mean just because I understand that I'm able to live without parents I'm able to do it I'm able to get up in the morning and drive my car in the morning somewhere and I'm able to go warehousing and drive my car to warehousing and do pick packing all day no worries just to live life I can do that, but I never need to do that. I never need to do pickpacking. I never need to drive my car in the morning somewhere. I never need a car in the first place. <clears throat> I mean, if you guys can go without a car in life, then you guys are going to be richer. I mean, never own a car, please. As soon as you own the car, that car loses value. I mean, how does a car lose value? I mean, your car loses value automatically because suddenly there's a scratch on it and then you have to service it and you have to insurance every single year. You have to do insurance and you have to do petrol and insurance and you have to service your car all the time. And every single year you do this. So $300 service and then $800 insurance and then also fixes for your car and to fix your car or to do up your car as well is extra and you must understand that what's important is delivering a quality of life where you can have more money for your family rather than giving it to a freaking car I mean you understand? I mean if you want to have insurance and if you want to service a car then what can you do right now to help you do that Proshi, you can go and understand uber drivers or taxis and go and taxi everything man i mean use a taxi i mean use public transport i mean use uber driving and uber drivers i mean get the uber i mean you're far better off doing the uber and having <coughs> other people drive you than you having to drive places I've learned that. I've learned that considerably. And I never ever want to get myself a car. 
I personally never ever want to do that. I promise you. Now, if other people are trying to make you do that, I promise you, just agree. But make sure you're never the driver. But if they want you to drive, then agree with it. But it's never because of you. But understand it's because of you and them together. So what I'm actually doing now is I'm just over here at the office works over here at Bunnings Warehouse. I mean, there's no Bunnings Warehouse over here. I mean, it's just the office works over here. I have to use, I have to get myself the, I have to get myself the <coughs> nice and beautiful coronavirus mask. And people are just around here wearing coronavirus masks. So I'm understanding something that I learned how to appreciate myself, yeah? I'm appreciating myself. I'm doing the best I can. I'm learning to help myself to indulge in a better life. I mean, that's all I can do, guys. I mean, learn to appreciate yourself, yeah? I mean, every single time you do something, make sure that you're learning from the situation and that's all you can do is learn to coexist with yourself to love yourself yeah so with other people document conversations with yourself only because other people never appreciate it if you document them and other people never love to be on video and audio I mean they hate it so just be with yourself and learn to partner up with yourself, yeah? I mean, you're just learning the situation of being able to deliver content for yourself and you're learning to do your life differently, yeah? And that's the whole deal. And that's the whole point of life, yeah? I see, so I'm just standing over here. And just enjoy yourself, yeah? I mean, if you're enjoying yourself and you're looking at the nice and beautiful way of portraying yourself as somebody in life and you're learning to be an advocate for yourself over here we are learning that money goes quick, guys but it's not about the money, remember I mean, it's more about you being able to orchestrate yourself throughout life by being able to come into seclusion to photocopy yourself a better life through differences and through different making of vulnerability being able to possess yourself to have a greater conversational mindset and just enjoy yourself yeah I mean if people ask you are you recording I'm just say yeah and then they may ask you to stop and then just stop it but then just resume when you're on your own I have to get myself Apple earphones so for myself over here at least I'm doing my best over here to help myself to grow and guess what, I mean just a little bit that way I promise you if people ask you to stop it and stop it I promise you if people ask you to delete your content and guess what I mean, do what they ask. I mean, if you do what people ask you to do, then every time you're going to understand something, that you're going to be far better off doing that than anything else. Because if people have a problem with you all the time, because they always have a problem, I mean, you understand? So make sure you, I mean, make sure you do something to orchestrate your life, yeah? I mean, orchestrate your beautiful life in different ways and learn from the situation. I mean, learn from what you want to do in life. And then ask for what you need. I mean, come to a seclusion in life to be patrolling and to be loving your life differently and to be learning from the situation, yeah? So how are you, boss? I just came to get Apple earphones. 
Which one? I'll get the Apple e Which one? Flat one or uh, round one? I see, I'll get the round one. I, I want to see both. I want to see both of them, please. I see this, uh, now I just understand I want to see myself doing great now, guys. So the whole point is just being able to love your life differently and looking to enjoy yourself, yeah? So I'm just at office works getting myself Apple earphones so that I can portray myself as a great human so I can go and succeed more differently so I can do my music, yeah? And it's now for the freaking head earphones. You don't have the flat one, we have got only this one. See this one? I see I can do this one. I can do this one. Okay. Thank you. Twenty nine. When you are ready. I take you boss. See, anyway, so what I'm doing is you have to learn, yeah? I mean, you have to learn something different about your life. But people only care to the amount that you care about them. Well, if you care about them, level 10, then they care about you, level 10. I mean, you must understand that. So, you must understand how it feels to portray yourself as somebody in life. We have to learn, and we have to learn to grow yourself. And now these e-phones were forty-five dollars before, and now they're twenty-nine. <laughs> so something's always happening in your life if you make the attempt to do your life greater. So just be willing to help yourself grow. Oh, I'm in a new situation now. I never need cigarettes. I see my father left cigarettes in the car. I'm never a smoker of cigarettes. See over here. There's even lighters. <laughs> I never smoke cigarettes, but the thing is, I don't have cigarettes over here in the car. And now I never need cigarettes, guys. And never cheat yourself out, please. And never start smoking cigarettes just because your father or mother or brother or cousin smoke cigarettes or maybe you find yourself in a situation where your mum and dad is never there anymore or maybe your sister or brother or cousin is never looking at you right now so make sure you never smoke a cigarette because of that I mean never ever make reasons for smoking cigarettes I mean cigarettes is unattractive and I'm never unattractive but smoking cigarettes is the most unattractive thing you can ever do and it's more how you guys have to learn how to indulge in a better way of life yeah so because I quit cigarettes three years ago I did save already $21,000 and I went around Australia I went around Australia using government's money and I was searching for a 9 to 5 job but I made excuses so I can go around the world in terms of Australia and everybody's different but I found my loyal freedom in what I do I mean nobody can take what I do away from me but what I want to do specifically today especially is I want to talk to people less I never want to talk to them as much as possible I never want to talk to people as much as possible but people are going to just come into my life and then suddenly I'm at my mum's house suddenly and then from that point I understand something that if I never talk to a woman for instance, suddenly a woman comes into my life and now a woman that wants to talk to me first comes into my life and what happens is we just connect because she's talking to me first so what I've learned about communicational skills is if somebody talks to you first then you win 
But if you're the one speaking to them first, then you look like the loser in the conversation. I promise you. I promise you now, if you never reply to somebody who talks to you first, then you look like the loser. I mean, you understand? And now, you're never a loser, but if you never reply to people when they talk to you first, then you look like a loser. Are we in a sense? So the thing is about conversational skills is understanding that if I talk to you first, I expect you to reply. But from now on, I never expect you to reply. I expect to see if you shall reply is different but that's the difference I can say the difference is right now I'll show you this that if I speak to you first I expect to see myself replying to you much more I promise you that's it I expect of myself to speak to you I mean you understand but I never expect you to reply but if you shall reply to my conversational talk with you then you look like a champion to me. But if I talk to you and you never reply, then you look like a sore loser to me. I mean, you understand? But if you reply to my messages, you look like a winner. And now, if I never reply to you personally, then it's because I'm doing something to help my life. And it's never because of you. But of course, in your eyes, I look like a sore loser. So it still goes. I'm never a sore loser though. But the thing is now, every single time somebody talks to you, give them a reply. And reply to them, the honest feedback. I mean, talk to them honestly about your life. I mean, if they want to be in your life, then talk honestly with them. I promise you, isn't that that simple? I promise you, it's that simple, guys. I promise you, so what I'm doing now is helping myself to see that I have plenty of time to make myself a dream. And now my dream is to become a star, right? And now I'm already a star. But what do I have to do to make myself even bigger than I am? I can see already that there's a better direction for me in the knowledge that I've been speaking about and I understand my knowledge is tenfold right now I promise you if people never kill you they make you stronger I mean just remember that I mean do you hear me I mean if people never kill you they make you stronger I mean do you understand I promise you it's the key difference I promise you, the key difference is understand that people who never kill you make you stronger I promise you now what I want to do is I have a chance right now to get the knife I ask Jesus Christ what to do I mean Jesus Christ says go and check it out I have to go have a look because I can get the knife really quickly and it's more how I feel that people can see a number plates around me over here so what I want to do is show you something now that clearly they are unable to see exactly what I'm doing but they can see a car that just steps in by doing something here and now I ask Jesus Christ what to do I, I mean Jesus Christ says go and see this right here where I'm understanding straight away that there's a knife in the gutter that I threw a knife in the gutter somewhere and now I have to see what's going to happen with that so I have to go and see what to do but let's have a look I hope I can get the knife I can now see straight away that I'm looking to help myself to explain myself in a better direction but I'm having a look at what I can do I'm 
looking to see where the knife is. So that's a thing. I mean, it's a concrete thing. I realize now a little bit that way. A little bit. I realize now what I want to do is a little bit that way. But that shows me clearly that if it's concrete, that I just have to go and see much more information about this because I feel that I can just go and do my life now. I see, I hope it's never concrete because if it's concrete, then I have to go and do another take. I have to go do another take over here. I have to go again to see exactly where that knife is. And I threw the knife somewhere. I mean, thankfully, the knife over here, we were. I mean, is there a gutter right here somewhere? to see what's going on right here so for myself at least I'm looking to see this information here and it's much more how I feel I feel different I feel that if it's this one here now I'm not sure where it is I see it's definitely never this way. I see now these concrete paths are something where the gutter's like that. But is it really like that? First you now I threw the knife in a gutter. I threw the knife in the gutter and the gutter I'm looking for the gutter. So what can I do over here? I mean somebody's going to recover that knife, I promise you. And they're going to call the cops. I promise you, so what I'm doing is checking out myself over here. That it can be strictly jail time. Or maybe it can never be strictly jail time. But I'm looking for the knife. I'm glad I went with the car to see where the knife is. So what I want to do this time is I want to walk it. I want to walk it this time. And I want to see what exactly is happening with this. See, anyway, I want to park the car somewhere. I want to get out. And I want to check out the gutters right here, somewhere. I see, so I just want to get out right here because I feel that my nice and beautiful knife is somewhere, but it's never long term jail cell. But I want to strictly see what Jesus Christ says about this I mean Jesus Christ says so far I have to do a better job I have to do a better job so I want to surround myself to see the area around here and I just want to see this over here or else this is concrete guys and concrete around here oh now, this is a concrete. I love it. Russian, nah. I see now. I see this one here is concrete too. I see now, these ones here. Concrete, yeah. I threw it in the gutter. I see, but which one is it? I see now. Guess what? 
can be forgiven. I can be forgiven around this. I see a little bit not. I see a little bit not. I see now. What I've done is I, I did grab a knife from my dad, and I took it from him, and I threw it away. I see now I'm never looking for that knife again. I ask Jesus Christ what to do. I mean, Jesus Christ says. That's the thing. I mean, they're going to check the video cameras around here. I mean, is there any evidence to support what's going on with this? Apparently now, it's, I mean, it's gone, isn't it? Apparently now, apparently they're going to find that knife. Apparently that knife is somewhere. Apparently somebody's going to find that knife. And now, that knife is in the gutter somewhere. I threw it in a freaking sewage. And it, there's a concrete freaking pavement around the sewage. So it makes it more difficult to go into the sewer. So what can I do, Jesus Christ? I mean, Jesus Christ says, give the consequences, man. I mean, if they really put me to jail, I'll never be that way. A little bit, but I'm learning something. I'm learning how I never did kill anybody. I never did kill anybody, but it's much more how I understand Jesus Christ over here says to just keep doing I. But it's all concrete pavements. And now, concrete pavements means that it's much more difficult to recover the knife now I mean so I asked Jesus Christ because I went to recover the knife I mean are they going to forgive me or how does it work I mean Jesus Christ says that's the thing I want to recover the knife but they're unaware of it aren't they and people aren't aware about my speculation about this that there's a knife in the gaga somewhere and years go by when they fucking find it first they'll find the knife first somebody will find a knife and they're going to call the cops and say there's a knife here and it'll be a thorough investigation about who in the area can do that and now in the evidence of the systems they're going to check out the people's fingerprints to the knife and they may find an image of me and my dad because maybe we have I, I definitely have fingerprints on it and my dad has fingerprints on it and the police both have my fingerprints on it and also it's really really the police are aware but the awareness of the police is understanding that the police already have my fingerprints and my dad's fingerprints so Depending on my dad and what he says about it to the police, and did, if he did call the police on it and on that, I am happily going to then go to jail and let it be that way. But then I come out as a better man, regardless. So I understand straight away. I ask Jesus Christ, are they going to pursue me? I mean, Jesus Christ says they can, but what's going to happen is. They want to find out the suspect. I mean, they want to find out the suspect. But then he goes into my dad or I. I mean, who's the suspect right here? I mean, nobody knows, really. I mean, nobody knows. So what happens is, since nobody really knows who the suspect is, I let it go. Or they're going to let it go. Or they never really understand who the suspect is. But... Let's say there's a video camera here somewhere, maybe. I promise you, if there's a video camera somewhere around here filming me do it, or filming me throw the knife in, then gotta, then what happens is I realize something. I realize then they have evidence to support it's me. 
So I realized by that stipulation, functionally it can be. But the truth shall set you free. And just realize this, that I'm the truth and I understand straight away I never did anything wrong. I never did anything wrong. And I never did steal my dad's knife. I promise you now. I promise you, I asked Jesus Christ, did I steal his knife? I mean, Jesus Christ says, nah. I never did steal his knife. I threw it away. I threw it away. And it's never my knife. But I never did steal his knife. I gave him a fucking new knife. I mean, you understand? <laughs> I gave him a new knife. I, I gave him 20 bucks or 30 bucks. I give him more, but I never did steal his knife, and that's the thing. I like should never kill, and just enjoy yourself anyway, guys. So what I want to do is I want to move on now. I for seven weeks have fucking been complaining to fucking return that knife, and now finally I get a chance to do so. So doing my best see since I'm doing the best I can I'm learning I'm seeing straight away how see my dad over here see he's sleeping see he sleeps well there's also I want to show you something I'm never a killer I want to show you that my dad sleeps in his room over there in the living room and while he's sleeping in the living room there's all smoke I and mean, there's all smoke everywhere <laughs> but guess what I found my best friend I I'm a best friend I is the best word of life I is my best friend I is my best friend but guess what I promise you Jesus Christ is also my best friend I said, you guys are my best friend too. Because you guys are willing to listen to me. I mean, you guys are willing to hear me out. So, I'm preparing myself to make some music. And I never want, I never want to make too much noise around town over here. While my dad is sleeping. And he's sleeping, so I just go and dwell a bit more in a better way. I have, I have to understand with that knife now, or else all I say with, with that, I can say yes, I'm not sure whose knife that is. I promise you, if it comes up to me, I promise you, if it comes down to me, and understand this, that uh, Jesus Christ says, let it go, but if I go overseas, I promise you, they can never catch me. I promise you, I promise you, they let it go. I promise you, they'll let it go. I promise you, they have to let it go, I promise you, they have to let this pass by. And they just see a knife. I mean, what's a knife there? I mean, who threw the knife? I mean, do I have anything to support this evidence? I mean, I mean, how about this guy over here? Or this guy, or this guy, or this guy? I mean, they suss up the evidence of the town. Who lives in that town? But, try your best to, to do life, guys. I mean, try your best to acknowledge yourself, yeah? I mean, acknowledge yourself that you are the guy who done it. I mean, you're the man or woman who has done it in your life. So, be the person of your dreams. See, anyway, what I want to do is, let it be. <coughs> I want to put her on some nice and beautiful music. And it's really... I never want to wake my dad up. I want to eat something as well. I want to relax. I want to adjust. I want to go to the toilet. I do park my dad's car out there somewhere. I want to go park his car in a better spot. I have to go to the toilet quickly. And I now figure out a better way. Now jail time may be Independence Day for me. See anyway, that I want to show you something that people search for the truth of what's happened. 
in terms of what didn't happen. I should find you out. I'm brushing now. Let it be. I'm brushing just say to them, hey, I threw the knife. Oh, I'm going to just say I threw the knife in the sewage because I never did want my dad to kill me. And that's it. <coughs> Brush, that's what I, I told them. And then just say I was I went to hospital after that for seven weeks. I went to hospital for seven weeks because I was afraid that my dad's going to kill me, and that's it. I mean, why were you afraid, Danny? I, I mean, because I threw the knife in the story, I threw the knife in the sewage, and that's it. I threw the knife in the sewage, and I was afraid that my dad was going to kill me, so I was begging on doors, and that's it. <clears throat> Rush, that's the truth of my life. I'm never lying about that, guys. But you guys found me out anyway. I, I, I told you. I've shown you. It's just a knife, man. For fuck's sake. I mean, you must understand. I, I'm driving my dad's car now. I mean, after eight, I mean, after nine weeks. I mean, I mean, do you understand? See, so anyway, guys, I'm feeling much better now. I'm feeling that I can do not leave programs now. I see, so what I want to understand straight away is I feel again, I have to just relax. I have to relax because it's more how I understand something. I understand that Netflix helps me now to relax. But also, when I relax, I feel like talking words. But now, I just feel like relaxing now. I feel like I fall asleep. But I have a visual image of this woman who's walking so slow, as she walks so slow, and I can picture myself also, at some stage, walking that slow as well, and having to be in a nursery home. And what do I do at that point? And at that point, they have to allow me on the phone, at least. And that's the thing, honestly, that's the scariest moment of my life, man. I mean, guess what? When Jesus Christ says, it happens to everybody. I mean, eventually, it never happens to everybody, but it happens to most people. Where people either die early, or they die in a nurse. I mean, or they die in a nursery home. And that's the thing about me. I understand that no matter what, that my time is coming where I can just go walk throughout life for a bit more. And I understand that. But the thing is, I feel, I feel that no matter what, that I have to relax. I feel I have to relax much more, so I have to lay down, I have to lay down, otherwise my blood pressure goes up. So every time that I feel like Netflix and chill, instead of talking words, it's because my blood pressure goes up. And that's the case. So let it be that way. I, I see, I feel like if I talk more words and more words and more words, I feel like a panic attack is coming up. I promise you, it's like hypertension. So, a little bit that way. So, that's why I use Netflix.